with the sound of drums and prayer songs, the remains of nine Sikangu Oyate Lakota children returned home to their native land. Their story is a long and painful one, stretching back over 140 years. There's going to be a lot of sadness here today. Beginning in 1879, native children from the Lakota and other tribes were sent to government-run boarding schools. The first group embarked on steamships from this point on the Missouri River, headed for a government school in faraway Carlisle, Pennsylvania. A lot of the kids were probably, this was the last place they saw their parents. They bought them here and got on the boat. Tens of thousands of native children entered boarding schools. The project was meant to assimilate, to destroy native language, culture, and religion, and to turn the young people into model Christian Americans. But many did not survive the school's harsh regime of maltreatment, neglect, and disease. For decades, the Lakota children lay buried in Carlisle Cemetery, but they were never forgotten. After years of effort to properly identify the remains and then carefully exhume them, children, including Little Hawk, Hollowhorn Bear, Strikes First, Swift Bear, and others who left so long ago are surrounded by their people once more. That's what we want for those kids and we want to come home. Does it make you feel emotional? Yeah. It kind of hurts, you know, but I'm really happy. Young Lakota reflect on the hardships their relatives endured. I would have been full of terror. I would have been full of... Uh, I would expect nothing but death, to be honest. It's almost a nauseating feeling to, to realize what these kids been through. The children's remains were placed on the ground inside a specially constructed teepee. There, surrounded by relatives and religious leaders, they were welcomed home in a private prayer ceremony. Later, the entire community gathered as the remains were laid out, wrapped in buffalo hides and surrounded by sacred sage. People prayed long into the night. The homecoming is an event of enormous emotional and spiritual importance to his people, says organizer Russell Eagle Bear. There's a reawakening of our people and that's important. You know, we need to, we can't be living in grief all the time. And on the following day, the children were laid to rest in the local cemetery, home at last, in the land where they belong. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Mission, South Dakota.